he's been with us for a couple of years, came from Jamaica College, played last year. Um, great leader, the captain of the team this year, outstanding student athlete. Um, and this has never happened before, so I'm not certain exactly what went on. And I, I guess I wait whether for the autopsy or for someone to, to tell me why it happened. But, but this one kind of tough. A great student athlete, um, obviously would have been awarded a scholarship. He had great grades, he did SATs, got great marks there. An outstanding young player, outstanding school boy player. Um, and I met him when he came to St. John's College. I was so happy that he came. He helped us last year to, to win our title and to get to two other finals. Um, we were expecting that he would have done the same for us this year. Uh, unfortunately, that won't happen. But, um, you know, I, I, I know he's in a better place. When things like this happen, people say a moment of silence. We clapped for a minute because we clap because we do think that he's in a better place. I pray for his parents, he's an only child. I cannot imagine what they're going through. I have four kids and I know I couldn't handle losing one. They have only one and they, they don't have one anymore. So I, I, I pray, I pray for them. I pray that God will give them strength in this incredibly difficult time. For the first time since he came to St. Jolly's College, I put him in a different position today. Um, so I had a, a direct, specific talk with Dominic. But he, he's easy to coach. He's, he's, a, he's a really good kid. He's easy to coach. Um, I pray for strength for myself because in, uh, in times like these, you need a strong leader. I don't know how strong this leader is, but I know as long as God is still with us, he will give me the strength to help the youngsters and to help myself. So um, I, I think we'll be all right. To be fair, ever since I've been coaching schoolboy football, I don't think you see a stretcher or ambulance until we get to the second round. In the first round, the games belong to the schools. In the second round, the games belong to the competition, the, the inter-secondary school sports. I think that's a, another discussion, because uh, I've always said that maybe every game we should have a stretcher and uh, an ambulance, but schoolboy football is like 120 something teams, and I suspect it's difficult. I think it should happen, but I'm, I'm not going to to start blaming anyone for this. Um, I just pray for his family. I pray for, for the community here at St. John's College. You can see how many people are here and it's, the, it's as quiet as I've ever heard it. I think we're all in shock. We're all in, in mourning. But, but again, I thank God for his life and I pray to God that he will look after his family. This is his bag, this, everything, his boots, um, his phone. This is his bag. So, I, I pray for his family, <laughs> and I just hope that they will be fine. Uh, again, I can't imagine losing your only child, um, so I hope they will be great. I pray God that they'll be all right. I don't question my God. I don't think he makes mistakes, um, but sometimes you just wonder why we would lose such a great young man. Must be a reason.